In this video, I'm going to teach the pinky pull down. The pinky pull down is a useful move that allows you to catch a break above a certain number of cards from the bottom of the deck. For example, I have a break above the bottom four cards. One, two, three, four. The first thing about performing the move is getting the angles right. You want it so that your pinky is hidden from the audience's view as much as possible. So that means holding the deck straight forward or anywhere in between there. And if you want, you can tilt it up a little bit. Um, if you can't manage that, you can use misdirection to kind of hide your pinky or add gestures to your hand to add movement. Uh, once that happens, there's an optional move you can do, which is to tilt the deck uh, by pushing on it with your fingers here this way towards your thumb, and that will cause the cards to kind of go at a 45 degree angle. Now, the reason for doing this is that it separates all of the cards individually, which will make it easier for your pinky to distinguish between them as it counts. So then we come to the counting portion of the move. Once you have the deck set up and the angle's right, what you need to do is take your pinky and just stick it close to the first joint here onto the edge of the pack until you can grip that bottom card. So you can start up high and then start to pull down until cards come away from the deck. And as soon as you have one card, you hold onto it with that flesh part of your pinky. Now, you have the remaining part of the pinky to continue to grab additional cards, so you can grab two. Now, if you notice, when I grabbed the second one, there was some separation. Sometimes you'll have to consolidate that, so I can push it together and insert my pinky in. Now both of those cards are together as one. And then I repeat the move for the third one, and I can push it together, and then you can keep going through any number of cards that you need. Now it's going to get a lot more difficult as the number of cards increase. One of the reasons for this is that your fingers start to push the deck, messing up that, that, that 45 degree angle edge that you had, so it'll be harder to distinguish between cards. So generally the move is performed with, you know, just one card that you want to get a break above, or maybe two even. But after that, it gets risky until you practice it a lot. It's also done with packets of cards. For example, you might have four cards that you need to perform the move with. And, you know, maybe you're doing some sort of ambitious card move, and the card comes to the top. And you might be asked to insert it onto the bottom, but you're actually doing a pinky pull down, so it looks like it's going onto the bottom, and you're actually inserting it into the middle, so that's one of the applications, so you know, you take it and just looks like you're sliding it under, but you're not. And that's the pinky pull down.